So this is going to go over the correct way to set up your gradebook. Throughout the first semester, I had many teachers coming to me asking why their grades for their students weren't being calculated correctly. And it had to do with um, what they had selected under grade setup. So inside of any of your courses, if you go to grade setup, um, you're going to notice that you have your category weighting and your gradebook scale. The big issue here being that everybody assumed once you weight your categories, you're done, you're good to go. The way that it's going to calculate this kid's grade is that it's going to take the total points that the kid earned on assignments out of the total points possible. Whatever score they get, it's going to weight that at 15% of the grade. Well, that's not actually true. And this really started to become apparent after finals when I had several teachers come to me asking why their final exam score was not being calculated correctly. So under each of these categories in the grade setup, if you click on it, you can choose how it is calculated, by total points or percent. By selecting total points, it's going to calculate this grade as it did when we had school loop. However, if you select percent, it's going to change how the weighting is applied to that category. Let me explain. So for example, for exams, let's assume that you give an exam and a quiz. And for that category, you have total points selected. The exam uh, was 100 points and the student earned 80 out of 100. The quiz was only worth 10 points because I don't want it valued as much as the exam, but the kid earned 9 out of 10 points. If we're doing this on a point system, then the student earned 89 out of 110 points, which would calculate as an 80.9%. Once this is calculated, that is then going to be weighted at 70% of the overall grade. So this is the grading that we're used to. However, if under exams you were to select percent instead of total points, then what the gradebook is going to do is it's going to see that exam 1 was 80 out of 100 points, which is 80%. Quiz 1 is going to be 90% because it was 9 out of 10 points. It's going to view these two as being equally weighted regardless of how many points they're worth. So if you don't want that, if you want the exam to be worth more, you wouldn't want to select percent because the way the overall grade is then calculated for this category is by averaging all the individual percents. So for example, 80 plus 90 is going to equal 85%, which is much higher than if we do calculated by total points. And the reason this is important is you want to make sure it aligns with your syllabus. So again, you want to click on each of these separately and ensure that it's either set to percent or total points as you have outlined in your syllabus. I have some of my categories set to total points, such as the final and exams, whereas my assignments actually have set to percent. And the reason for this is that all of my homework assignments are comprised by a different number of questions. So some are five questions, some are 20 questions. But regardless of how many questions, I want them all to be worth the same amount in comparison to each other. So I don't want the 20 question homework assignment to be worth five times as much as a four question homework assignment. So the way that I get them all weighted equally, if you will, is by selecting percent. And then whatever that averages to, a new weight of 15% of the overall grade is applied to it. So you can have a combination of percent and points depending on how you've outlined your grade in your syllabus. The other thing to be aware of is a lot of teachers created a custom grading scale, but notice that whatever the star is on, that's the default that um, all of your assignments are going to be set to. So some teachers want it set to their custom grading scale or here, their final grade settings to be calculated by a custom scale, but they forgot to select their custom scale and instead it's just going to default to this numeric scale. So make sure that you have the correct scale selected here and make sure each of these categories you have how the grade is calculated either by percent or total points based on your final outcome that you want to have students reflected in their grade.